Can you re- can you do the questions for me again? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you think that this was like pretty much like a like a weak? I, I don't know how to really word it. Do you think that this was like a as far as Bar uh, Boruto getting to the point where he's going to like give uh, give up his body to Momoshiki? Do you think this was if Momoshiki is a really foreseeing? Yeah, there you go. That's the, what. There you go, Bar. That's why you should ask the questions about me. Yeah, facts. Well, what, was Momoshiki's plan smart? Okay. Wow. I would say it's it's difficult to answer this because I'm viewing it from the perspective of me, like a person who, relatively speaking, in comparison to Momo, should be like an infant because he's been around for a thousand plus years. So right. I want to get out of my own head and just look at it from the perspective of someone who has been around for a thousand plus years and who has consumed knowledge from an untold number of worlds, which could span in the billions of years, depending on how old those worlds are. Yes, this was incredibly dumb from, from his perspective, <laughs> incredibly dumb. It, it, it seems like in, you, you can say, you can view this from a few different you know perspectives, but it seems like to me, Mamoshiki looks down on human beings so he put himself in a human shoes and then he made an assumption about his reaction based upon, you know, the conditions he would find himself in. So, hey, humans are weak. They're weak of body, weak of mind. And if they find themselves losing everything from his perspective, this is Shiki's perspective, thinking this, he loses everything, then he'll despair and then I can take over. Uh, mm-hmm. But it, to me, I feel like he should have, with all his supposed knowledge and wisdom, he should have taken a few different angles and a few different approaches. Uh, you know, always have a plan B. It seems like you want to take over this dude's body and you know, rule supreme or whatever the case may be, then surely you would have had some kind of contingency plan in mind when, uh, if something, you know, fell through. And you know, look, I can come up with that um, just for the short amount of time I've been around. Surely someone with a thousand plus years of experience could do the same. So, no, I, I don't think it was good. I think it was pretty bad. And I think pretty much solidifies my take that all the Otsusuki are absolutely garbage except for Kaguya and Hagoromo and potentially Hamura. I, 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 I clown Ishiki quite often, and I mentioned this in my last stream. At this point, they're probably going to send me a cease and desist letter because I'll be packing them. <laughs> this, this man, the, the, the very beginning you see Ishiki, this dude's getting folded by Kaguya. In the very last moment you see this dude, he's getting packed up by a 14, 15-year-old. And the same with Urashiki, he's getting packed up by Genin, the descendants of Kaguya. Kinshiki literally got folded by like the new era Kage. And, and, and Momo was running away from the local black man. Right? And I'm like, yo, you've been around for all these years. Surely this shouldn't be you running from this dude. So it, 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 it has me at a loss for words about how sorry guy. these people seem to be. Man, the local black man is elite, bro. That brother is elite, apparently. Apparently. You, know, you have Ishiki Otsusuki brimming with power, dodging shuriken. And literally using his visual prowess to shrink down kunai and whatnot. I'm at a loss for words. I, I just don't understand how these people have been around for a thousand plus years. Don't let that go over your head. And they still ducking shuriken. It don't make sense to me. So here we go now. And, and, and then this man, I was doing this on the last stream. Kashin Koji literally had an ultimatum for Ishiki. You either get burnt by the flames or you get packed by this sage mode Rasengan. And when met with this conundrum, right, <laughs> this brimming with power, fully resurrected Ishiki chose to use his visual prowess to get himself out of it. So is he told Sage Mo Rasing on level in, in terms of durability, or is he fire level in terms of durability? It seems well, like he it, can't. It, it, Wait, 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 wait. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. No, we're packing him today. It seems like Ishiki's durability is shuriken, normal fire, and sage mode Rasengan level. He's ass. So, yeah, I, I suspect that Momo's ass too. Okay, Yo, this guy needs to voice a video game. <laughs> Bro, I, I was just saying. I was just saying, in, in all fairness, you, you got to respect my guy Ishiki Otsuki Rajigan for trying to shrink down flames because he didn't want his clothes to be burned off. Like, it, it was already halfway ripped off. Let's be honest. <laughs> we ain't want to see that. Like, but, even, but even still, 
He's not gonna sit there and just <laughs> tank attacks just because he can. Like I, I think it's it's probably Sup- wait wait I Superman know. does it. Superman does it all the time. Yeah, Broly does it too. Like I like I like just think common bullets. What? How dare you insult me with your peasantry? Okay, don't <laughs> don't, don't come to me with this nonsense. This, this tomfoolery. No, I, for for a person to be forced to use their visual prowess is an insult to that person. It means they had to put effort in. That's oh, that's man. all I'm saying. That's all. I'm saying. Wait, do you no, think it is this no, Nar- to set their arrogance? Uh, Naruto went stage of six path mode versus the Shin Uchiha clone. That's Naruto. I mean, come on. This N- this Naruto goes stage of six path mode to hug Kawaki, bro. He's the biggest bag <laughs> ever, okay? <laughs> <laughs> No, you. He no, I, I, I feel like the ultimate arrogant move would be to not do anything, just to sit there and just let it bounce off your chest, like like seriously, bro. Uh, yeah. it, it could be just that they were trying to flex Ishiki's abilities. You, you feel me? It's the first time that we're seeing Ishiki. We were just talking about how difficult it was for him <laughs> to actually use the Kuni coin. Now he just turns into Ishiki Osuski and he's he's able to do it like immediately, like well, no stress, yeah, effortlessly against against Shuriken. Yeah. Against and, Shuriken. And then, like, <laughs> Like, this dude literally punches Kashi and Koji. We, I did a whole breakdown on my stream. He punches Kashi and Koji in the face. Koji just eats it, bro. And then he, and then Koji proceeds to just, like, strategize while being, like, pushed backwards. And then this goes on to, like, blitz uh, Ishiki Otsusuki. Like, it, Ishiki's it, it, literally, like... Koji a dilemma. But, but, but Koji a dilemma. People... Bro, hey, nah. people think that I seen Koji Ryan Garcia or, eat I a punch. Know. You saw what happened to him after that, bro. <laughs> Ryan Garcia ate a couple punches, bro, and he was sweet. Hey, hey, shout out to my guy Ryan Garcia. <laughs> bro, listen, he was knocked uh, out, bro. I, I'm assuming that's a boxer. I don't watch boxing, unfortunately. Oh yeah, yeah. but uh, look, if 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 this thousand plus year old Otsuki god who's brimming with power can't even pack Toad Sage Mo Kashi and Koji, bro, what, what, what was Koji like? See? Six years old, seven years that's old. The thing. Like, come on. Yeah. If you ask me right now, who's stronger, Ka- that version of Kashi and Koji or the Naruto sh- or the Naruto that we did see earlier versus Delta? Like, I can't necessarily give you a straight answer that it's going to be Naruto that wins that battle. What? No. I can't. All due respect. Bro. Like, what what mm. Kashi and Koji did with Ishiki during that battle, I cannot say for sure that Naruto could do the same. <laughs> mm. Six past Sage mode Naruto. Yeah. Wow. Naruto was getting blitzed by Jigen. By yeah. Jigen. Uh, Jigen. But this was like ten percent of Jigen though. Bar got a Koji packing up six pass mode Naruto. Bro, I, 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 I'm just. <laughs> I mean, saying, I see where he's coming from. For though. sure. Like it. For example, if Kashi and Koji comes back in part two of Boruto, and all of a sudden he's stronger than Naruto, like I'm not gonna be surprised. I'm not gonna call BS. Like we've seen this in the fight versus Ishiki. It's just what happened that Ishiki was too strong that we couldn't necessarily see what Kashi and Koji actually had. Okay, I mean, look, I I know what he had. He had, he had a Rasengan and some fire <laughs> that bypassed his durability. He had uh, the the skills and tactics and speed to like completely discombobulate. Shout out to my boy Sherlock Holmes and Robert Downey Jr. Discombobulate Ishiki Otsu. So dude is literally like Nani. Like when, whenever you throw in a Nani in the middle of combat, that means you're lost. <laughs> You've lost the plot. You don't know what's going on, and you're and you're confused. So th- that's confirmed. I I saw him tank a full power punch. This brother put his whole body weight into it. He was skipping on one hand when the punch was finished. All right, he's he, different. He, he shifted he's his different. hips to everything. Koji can't be that different, bro. I could That's point to that and say he because of that, Kashi and Koji has better durability than Naruto and Sasuke. Like Sasuke got his Susanoo completely ran through by Jigen. Like we've seen this. He got his no, bump bump Jigen. Sasuke got a Susanoo <laughs> ran through by Momoshiki before he was fused with Kenshiki. Like what are we do it. And to it, be and fair, Kashi and Koji completely stopped Ishiki. To be fair, the the, the Susanoo is not really special because I mean Kagi melted it. Kagi packed. Like, man, Susanoo been getting packed for a minute. People want to pretend like Jigen was the first one who did it. Nah, Kagi, Kaguya. Keep that in mind. I'm just saying that. But, I mean, look, that's your opinion. That's your take, and I respect it. You know what I mean? So, but yeah. You, know. but you, you have I, sense- I always say maybe maybe scale down these O2 Suki. Maybe scale down Boruto era characters. Because I still got people telling me, uh, you know, Momo's Shiki and Boruto's body at the end of part one in the anime is packing up six past Sage Mo Naruto. I think Bar told me that himself. Perhaps. He I'm is. not sure. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, no, he is. Preach, bro. Well, matter of fact, I don't, I don't want to say that because we don't truly know exactly how strong Naruto is because the only people that he was really going up against that that's like we really have like documented like a, like actual like actual like legitimate fight scenes is sasuke and sasuke again we don't know how strong he was because one he was boosted in that fight and obviously he's he doesn't necessarily have all those abilities now so we don't necessarily fully know how strong Jeez. naruto was hmm? six past sage mode naruto yeah in my personal opinion we don't know the peak of their powers i, I know he fought against um what's it called Kaguya, but I still think that he wasn't as strong as as his peak version as when he fought against Sasuke. And I think for the, for this to be a fair fight against Boruto, who literally has Momoshiki Otsutsuki, we'd, we'd probably need to comp his his peak versions. And I think Sasuke and Naruto got stronger after the Kaguya fight when they both fought fought against each other.